Five years ago, our Down the Drain team first uncovered how widespread the sewage and water board billing problems are. But billing mistakes and difficulty resolving them still plagues many New Orleans customers. Down the Drain investigator Mike Pearlstein found one Gentilly grandmother who's been struggling for more than four years to correct her astronomical bills, and she's now getting shut off notices. We've never used $1,000 a month or $2,000 a month. When Adeline Godan moved into this subsidized apartment with her young granddaughter in 2019, her sewage and water board bills were about $100 a month. Then they started doubling and tripling and ultimately skyrocketing into the thousands. She figured there was a mistake. She started calling the utility. 1,029, March 5th. So that made me start contacting them to find out well, what was going on with the bill. The problem got worse. No one's returned my call. No one gave me an, you know, any information about what's going on. When her bill climbed past $35,000 this summer, she got this disconnection warning. It's too stressful. I, I've, I've been trying to be normal in front of my granddaughter, but it's hard. Ms. Godan is not alone. This is this happens to so many different people. Even though the agency has repeatedly promised to do better, City Councilman Joe Geruso said his office is still getting regular calls about out of whack bills. That's why the council is now preparing to put out a bid for an outside company to immediately handle all billing disputes. This is objective math and it and it should add up and it's not. Ms. Godan hired a plumber. He found no leaks, but he did find a potential mix-up with the apartment's water meters. And at one point, Ms. Godin's meter numbers changed. Is that I had two account numbers, mm -hmm. not one, mm -hmm. two. And they get spun around for such a long period of time, and they don't have certainty, they don't have predictability, and they don't have ultimately what's right, which is an accurate bill. Since we've been looking into this problem just this week, large payments have mysteriously appeared on Ms. Godin's bill, only adding to the stress and confusion. Mr. Mike, thank you so much for helping me. The agency revised Ms. Godin's bill from $36,000 down to about $8,000, amount that is still impossible for her to pay. We'll continue to follow this case until it gets resolved. Mike Perlstein, WWL, Louisiana. Well, the Sewage and Water Board recently had its chief customer service officer look into Ms. Godin's disputed bills, and so far the agency has credited her about a count about $28,000, as you just saw. Yeah, but in an emailed statement today, the agency said much of the $8,000 balance is coming from missed payments, late fees, penalties, and, quote, a period of very high water consumption. And meanwhile, the council hopes to have an outside contractor taking over billing disputes by early next year.